What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how I got this dramatic black and silver look that is perfect for New Year's Eve. You can wear this for anything during the holiday season or any time of the year or for anything at all. But to me, this is just so classic New Year's with the black and the silver colors. And then I popped on these super glam earrings just to kind of tie it all together. So um, the majority of the products that I use in this video can be found at the drugstore. I recently just did a very bougie high-end makeup look, so I wanted to also bring you something like this, which is an equally beautiful look, but with drugstore products. So if you want to see a video where I do the same look, but just one half of my face is drugstore and the other half is high-end and bougie, let me know. I've never done that before and everyone does those looks. So if you want to see that, let me know. I can totally do that. Yeah, I hope you guys like the look. Please subscribe and let's get started. Okay, so I just got done filming another makeup tutorial that will have already gone up, but if I <laughs> look a little busted, it's because I just took off all my makeup. I had on a bright lip and everything. So I feel like I look crazy. But I left my brows on and my eyes are primed and ready for eyeshadow. I am going to start with my eyes first today just because I'm going to be using a lot of darker shades and that way if I get any fallout, I can just wipe it away with either a moisturizer or a makeup wipe. I'm going to go into the Milani Soft and Sultry palette and I'm going to mix these two shades together and I'm going to bring this in the crease of my eyeball. I'll probably be adding to my eyebrows once the look is pretty much done. I like to have my brows done before going in with eyeshadow, but depending on how dramatic this goes, I might add on and make them look a little bit fuller. I'm gonna lay these colors down on the outer lid and on the inner lid. I wanna do a spotlight eye where this is the brightest part and then the inner and outer corners are darker. So I'm just kind of mapping that out now. I'm gonna go into this shade next to start deepening this up right in the socket of the eye and then on the outer lid and also the inner lid. I will be going in with like black and silver. And when I first started doing makeup, I feel like black and silver eyeshadow looks were like all the rage and I always wanted to figure out how to do it and I would always mess up because all I would see in the look is black and silver. So I thought those were the only shades I should use. But if you start with browns, even if they are cooler tone browns or warmer tone browns, whatever you're more comfortable using, if you use that first, it's going to come out from behind the black and silver shades and make those actually pop more because they're contrasting against the brown shades and it helps to blend them out and you don't look like you have a black eye. Also, if you go in with the browns first before going in with like blacks and silvers and stuff, it kind of warms you up to the look in your brain because if you go straight in with black, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, this is so dramatic. But if you start kind of like gradually building up the color, I feel like you can end up getting the look that you end up wanting instead of like full blown going with the black first it's going to end up looking very very dramatic all at once and it might feel a little scary when you might ending up with the same result in the end anyway but if you build up the look from light to dark it won't be as shocking right off the bat go in with a cleanish brush just blend that out i always make sure to especially with very dramatic looks like this that each step is completely blended before going into the next step because the darker you get with your eyeshadows, the harder it will be to blend them out. I'm gonna start deepening this up even more. I'm gonna take this bottom shade here, roll it in there and start popping this on the outer lid and also take this color on the inner lid as well. Kind of just pushing that in there and then dragging it in towards the center of the eye. So you've kind of got these two V's, like two little beaks that you're creating. So one here and then one here. Once the majority of that product is off the brush, then I will hit it right there in the top of the crease. I'm gonna wipe off this brush and go into these two shades mixed together and use that to blend the edges of that eyeshadow color. Then go in with a fluffy brush and blend out the edges. 
I take a really small little pencil brush and I'm gonna go into this shade here. You can probably not really tell on camera, but in person, this is a lot more brown and this is a lot more like inky of a black. So I'm gonna start with the more brownish black first. And the darker the color I use, the more precise of a brush I use. So I'm gonna take this and lay this right here on the outer lid. See, I created just that little V there. And once I've laid that shape down, I can kind of gradually move the color around and blend it where I want it to go. So I'm kind of blending it in and up towards the crease and just diffusing the V shape. Doing the same thing on the inner part, creating the V and then diffusing it inwards. Also taking this right up here at the top, creating like a little line. And then go into the brush before and blend right at that line and at the edges of the rest of the look. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the deepest, darkest black and do exactly what I just did. Pop it on the very outer corner, the very, very inner corner. I'm gonna grab my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. I have the shade 350 Bisque. Pop this right here on the back of my hand. It's a little glob. And then I'm gonna grab a very precise flat brush, something like this. I'm gonna pick up the concealer, make sure it's really, really flat. And I'm gonna look down into my mirror, take this vertically right here in the center of the eye, stamp it right where that crease is at. Then I'm gonna look up so that it can transfer to the highest point and then that's where you know where you want the crease to be. So now I can carry that this away and this away. And I'm being very slow and careful. And I can drag it down and outwards to make sure that is extra, extra crisp. Okay, I'm gonna tap it with my finger. And then I'm gonna go into the Koosh Super Shock Eyeshadow from ColourPop. It's just a very bright, like silvery shade. So I'm gonna pick this up on a MAC 242 brush and I'm gonna pop this right in the center of the eye. I'm gonna spray this with some setting spray just to make it go on a little bit more foiled and intense using this setting spray to intensify it made it go on more wet looking and just super metallic which is exactly what i was going for i'm going to quickly do the other side and meet back up with you i think i'm going to grab this shade here it's kind of like a taupey gunmetal color and i'm going to pop that on the outer lid and the inner lid and just kind of start tapping it towards the center of that bright silver color and kind of blending them together there at the edges. It should naturally fade because when you layer that color over the black, it should look like a darker gray, but then when you layer it over that bright silver, it should go a little bit lighter. So you should have a natural fade. It should actually blend pretty easily. I'm just reinforcing the black on the inner and outer corners of the eye, just to make sure that depth and dimension is still there. It's just a teeny tiny brush. This is actually a Charlotte Tilbury eyeliner brush. I'm I'm gonna take that middle shade here on the bottom very very precisely I'm gonna hit this right at that curvature just so it's extra extra dark there and then there's an intense contrast between the bright silver and the black I'm gonna go into this random glitter. I don't even know if this is still available anymore, but it's by Wet n Wild. I got this like in high school and I've kept it through all of my makeup declutters and everything. Any kind of glitter works. This is kind of like a multicolored glitter. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of glitter adhesive. This one is from Anastasia. You could do like a clear eyelash glue. I'm gonna take this with my finger and just dot it in the center and then pick up the glitter on my brush and dot it where I put the glitter adhesive. I'm now gonna do my eyeliner. I really wanna do a dramatic thick wing. This is the L'Oreal Flash Cat Eyeliner. So I start here in the outer corner. I follow the natural line of my lower lash line. 
bring it up and then bring it in. And then I lay it on its side and do the lid. And then fill in the outline. And I'm taking a little bit of concealer and I'm just running it against the eyeliner just to make sure they're both somewhat even. And I'm just blending it down. I'm not gonna go in with any face primer today just because as soon as I'm done filming this, I'm actually just gonna take my makeup off. But if you wanted this to last, go in with a face primer. I'm gonna go into the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. I'm in the shade 115 Ivory. I'm just buffing this in the skin. And I'm applying a generous amount because I want a pretty full coverage with the crazy dramatic eyeshadow that's on the eyes. If I had like a more natural face, it would end up, I don't know, just not really balancing out in my opinion, especially with the dark black and gray shades that we used. For concealer, I'm gonna go into the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer that we used to do the whole like eyelid situation. Popping that under there. I'm gonna go in with a lot. I'm gonna use my Sigma FO3 and blend this in. Making sure to avoid the eyeliner because you do not want to hit that and move that around. Taking it around the nose. And whatever's left over on this brush, I'm just kind of hitting it right here on the inner part of the eye. I'm gonna go into the NYX Three Steps to Sculpt palette. I'm gonna set my under eyes with this powder here. Set right under the eyes and really set it good because I went in with a ton of concealer. So I wanna go in with a lot of powder just to make sure it's nice and set in place and it's not gonna move around. I'm gonna set in my T-zone because I do get oily. This is not from the drugstore, Laura Mercier translucent powder, but it's just my favorite. You can actually get it on Walmart's website though. Got my T-zone with this, where I get oily. For bronzer, I'm gonna go into the Milani Sunkiss Bronzer. This is one of my favorite bronzers. It's their Silky Matte Bronzing Powder in the color Sunkissed. I'm gonna take this right up on the forehead and then take this down onto the cheeks, <laughs> like right underneath that. I wanna warm up my skin because of the colors on the eyes. Those are so silver, this is gonna help to contrast that. And I, I just like to be extra bronzed. So I'm kinda just bringing this all over my face to really bronze up the skin. I'm hopping back into the Three Steps to Sculpt palette and I'm gonna take the contour shade and hit it right where you wanna contour under the cheekbone. Right here, and get the sides of the forehead and the temples, and get the jawline. And then I'm also going to contour my nose. I'm gonna go into the Pixie Glowy Gossamer Duo. This is in Delicate Dew. I'm gonna mix those two together and pop that on my cheekbones. I normally connect it into the brow bone, but because we have that wing there, I'm not gonna drag it in there. I'm just gonna keep it right up here. I'm gonna take my finger, do the nose and Cupid's bow, and then blend it in with my brush. For my blush, I'm gonna go into the ColourPop Shays blush. It's kind of like a peachy color. Picking it up on my Sigma F40, and I'm gonna apply this on my cheeks. This color reminds me a lot of MAC peaches. Okay, I actually really like how naked the bottom lash line is. I'm gonna put a little something something there just because the top is so dramatic. Before I do that though, I'm gonna go into the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. I just want to just make these a little bit darker, kind of like on the tail of the brow. This will just help to border the dark eyeshadow. Give it a little bit of a structure here. For the bottom lash line, I think I'm gonna take this shade here from the Milani palette and look up and just pop this right here at the lash line. Give it some definition. I'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush and just blend that out. 
taking my face powder actually and just kind of going over that because even that was I think a little bit more than I want to do. I'm going to go into my face highlighter and mix them together and pop this right here on the inner corner. Bring it underneath. I'm also going to take that up on the highest part of the brow bone and just keep it really concentrated right up here. I'm going to grab the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara and apply this to the upper lashes. So I'm applying these lashes from MAC. They're the MAC 75 lashes. I wanted to show you the glue. So I started using the Duo Clear Brush On Adhesive and this so far is just the best glue ever. So I wanted to show you the color when I first put it on. It turns this like blue color and then I'm gonna show you them right before I put them on my eyes so you can see what to look for when you apply the lash because that is the most important part of applying false lashes is waiting for the glue to get tacky. Aside from timing, a way that you can tell that it's time to apply them is the way that they change color. So they kind of fade a little bit to clear. You don't wanna wait till it's completely clear cause then it'll be dry on the lash, but it's already kind of starting to disappear a little bit. See how it's kind of starting to get like a little spotty in some areas. So now I'm gonna pop them on. You can see they're just a little bit more clear. I'm gonna use my Velour applicator tool. Look down, pop it in the center first. And I get the inner corner. Pop that on and then I get the outer and then I can actually pull it over if it's not all the way over. So the inner corner is a little bit trickier for me to pop on. So I do get that one second after getting the middle. And then when I do the outer, if it's not as far over as I need it to be, I'll grab it and just slightly kind of tug it and it will work. And then I just squeeze them together with my natural lashes. And then I'm gonna run over them with the eyeliner. I have like a speck of glitter that fell down. We don't want that. Plus I've used this pair of lashes quite a few times. So I don't want them to look dingy at all. Going back over it with the liner will kind of help to cover up anything. Now that I have the lashes on, even more dramatic up top. So I am gonna apply just a little bit more definition on the bottom. I still don't wanna do too much. So I'm gonna make sure this brush is pretty clean before going in with any of the other colors. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this dark gray and pop this right at the lash line and just wiggle it. And in the inner part here, I'm taking this straight instead of following this way, taking it right here. Now I'm just gonna wiggle that to blend it. And then I'm gonna grab one of the lighter shades and just take this vertically and blend that out. I'm gonna take this shade right here in the palette and really pack it on on the inner corner and drag it in right here. I'm gonna grab my Rimmel Nude Liner and pop this in the waterline and then pop some mascara on the bottom lashes. This is the NYX Nude Suede Shoes Lip Liner. This is one of my favorite lip liners ever. So I'm gonna take this on my lips following my natural lip line and then overlining right here at the cupid's bow, turning it on its side and filling it in. I'm gonna go into the L'Oreal Ultra Nude Lipstick. This is in the color, well, Ultra Nude, but 984. I'm gonna pop this on top. I'm just gonna pop in a little bit of Flesh Pop from MAC. This is a great lipstick if you ever want to lighten up a color. So I'm just gonna add this in because I want this to go a little bit closer to my skin tone. And I don't have another lipstick close to this color. Grab my pencil and blend them together. I'm just gonna switch out my earrings just because. By the way, these were the Frida Hoops from Miranda Fry. My discount code is Brianna Fox for 10% off. That is affiliated, but I wanna switch them out for these because these are a little bit more glam. Ooh, ooh, ooh. New Year's Eve. -y. I think it'll really tie everything in together. This is the final look up close. Oh, the 
I just love this look. It's so classic, so dramatic, so just typical New Year's Eve. Um, you could wear this for anything with any look. I just have to say that though, because it's like, if you're watching this in July, go for it, wear this look, you know, but it is classic New Year's. I love this look. I don't want to take it off. It's so cute. But yeah, that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed following along and seeing how I got this very dramatic, cool toned black and silver look. If you end up recreating it, please tag me and let me know what you guys are excited for for the new year. Let me know what videos you wanna see. So yeah, that's it you guys. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me today. Please subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.